Gary, a point today extends your unbeaten run in the Championship to eight league games. How do you look back on today's fixture? Um, look, I thought it would be a tough game. Uh, I think on the back of such a good run for us, um, I didn't really feel I had the ability to change too much within the team. Um, but I felt as though there would be two or three that might struggle to go again physically. and It's always a challenge because you want to give them the opportunity. But I could see after about 10, 15 minutes that, that just in the final third we were a little bit not as sharp as I think we needed to be today. Um, uh, if I look at Wickham's recent run of games, um, they should have beat Derby. They beat Huddersfield. Uh, they've actually been... Um, good in, in the three or four games and given teams lots of problems I didn't think today they gave us really very many problems and I thought we controlled the game we controlled possession we got into the final third qu quite easily at times with our centre backs stepping out, playing round to the wing backs wing backs dragging their full backs out but then when we got into the end it just kind of petered out a little bit and, um, I think that was the, the, the the, uh, the order of the day today was just in the final third uh, we didn't have enough quality and it wasn't just us forwards I think it was anyone that got into the final third it was the final delivery the crossing was poor um, you know because I started smudges obviously you've got to get up the pitch a different way you know we haven't got the, the, the natural pace to get up uh, but I thought he deserved the opportunity to go again uh, and sometimes you know if it doesn't get the quality into him it's quite difficult um, to do uh, probably the only gamble I had today was, you know, do we go 4 2 3 1 or do we keep going with five um, and a different type of lineup ahead of that um, because it's worked so well for us? And, and uh, I just felt as though if we'd have took one out um, to put one further forward, we'd have been exposed with um, their, their, their physical striker uh, and their willing runners, you know. So, so as it was, I'm not, I'm disappointed with a draw, I'm disappointed to be coming in with just a clean sheet to show for our efforts. But sometimes if you don't show as much quality as you need to, um, and that's what happens. And when you come up against teams like Birmingham, Wickham, at the foot of the table fighting for every single point, they're gonna prove to be a tough test to break down. I guess we say it quite a few times in these interviews, just that quality in the final third that's perhaps let the team down today. Yeah, look, and, and you know, when you're lacking, when you're missing, um, you know, the likes of Conor Mahoney and you're missing the likes of Ken Zahor, uh, and you're li li missing, you know, a Kifton Belt, a Cooper, um, um, you know, a Lenny. Um, I think that would have made the difference today. Um, that extra energy in the squad, that extra opportunity to change it around and get a little bit more uh, legs and quality into, into the team. But as it was, we had to go again. Um, you know, it's another game. No, I'm not going to say another game unbeaten is a massive positive, but it's a run of eight games. We've drawn four and won four. We've conceded very few goals. We've lost. Um, we're alongside most of the top six in terms of how many games we've lost. The difference is just that extra bit of um, clinical play in the final third that then wins you the game. You know, it, again, you know, just that's the day where you want someone to do something different. And, and um, you know, we huffed and puffed, but couldn't quite create enough chances. And just talking about your latest recruit in George Evans, he's fitted into this squad seamlessly. He's put in some really good performances since you brought him to the club. I thought he's been excellent. I thought he's, uh, he's, he's fitted into what we've done. He's fitted into the group fabulously. Um, you can see what a quality footballer he is. He's actually surprised me a little bit, just how tough defensively and how resilient defensively he's been also. You know, he's dealt with big strikers, he's dealt with a bit of pace. Um, you know, I, I still believe that he'll be better in a midfield area. He showed what, that at Reading as well, didn't he, when he slotted into the midfield? Yeah, and that's where, you know, that's where I will play him and I would play him. Uh, but again, because we've got injuries, I think we're a little bit light in certain areas to, to switch him around at the moment. So, so um, but yeah, look, it all bodes well for a strong second half of the season, which is what we said prior to this run of games. I said publicly I felt as though we would uh, we would finish the second half of the season far better than the first half. It looks like that's the case and we've just got to keep building and if we don't play as well as we can, take a draw, take a clean sheet and move on. And, and like I said, I think Wickham will um, they'll upset a few teams this season and in my opinion didn't really look like doing that to us but we didn't create enough clear chances ourselves. And just finally, looking back at the, the home form is one thing that you've wanted to improve on and you've certainly done in recent weeks. Yeah, look, to, to the last three games to win two and draw one, um, you know, I, I certainly don't think is a, a, huge, um, a huge negative. Um, of course, we know that, you know, when you're playing... You know, I don't want to be disrespectful to Millwall and Gareth because I think he's done a fabulous job in really difficult circumstances with the budget that they've got in this division. Um, however, 
when, when the pressure is on that people think obviously you should just go and turn over a Wickham. Um, then you have to be a little bit disappointed to not win the game. But, you know, if I'm being honest, we didn't show enough. We showed the control. We actually passed the ball much better than Birmingham. There were parts of our performance that were much better than Birmingham. What we didn't have is we didn't have the two clinical moments against Birmingham to win this game and therefore we have to accept the draw.